Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain part 58 of Java for Tester series. That is, if, else if, else selection statements. So in Java, we have some statements like flow control statements. And we can categorize this flow control statements into three different types. One of the type is selection statements. Then we have iterative statements. And transfer statements. So flow control statements in Java can be categorized into three different types. That is selection statements, iterative statements, and transfer statements. And coming to the first type, that is selection statements, we have four different selection statements available. That is if selection statement, then we have if else selection statement, then we have if else if else selection statement, and finally we have switch selection statement. So there are four different selection statements which fall under this flow control statements in Java. And out of this, the current video session, I'm going to explain if else if else selection statement. We already covered if and if else selection statements in the previous videos. And in the current video session, I'm going to explain or practically demonstrate if else if else selection statements in detail. So guys, let's get started. So what is the purpose of using this if else if else selection statement and how to use this if else if else selection statements in java let's find it out so to understand this if else if else selection statements okay let me explain a step by step manner okay the first step let me explain this this if else if else sele selection statements contain more than one conditions okay this selection statements will contain more than one condition can contain so far guys, the previous videos, when I explained this if and if else selection statements, they used to contain only one single condition, that too with the if condition. If condition used to be there. But coming to this, if else, if else selection statements, they contain more than one conditions guys. You see, here as per the syntax of this particular selection statement, we have if condition and then we have else if condition, and another else if condition like that we can have more than one conditions in the if else if else selection statements guys so no matter okay how many else if conditions you can add you can add guys okay so there can be more than one conditions in the if else if else selection statements so if you want to increase the count of these conditions you can actually increase this else if blocks okay you can add as many number of else if blocks as you want guys and along with the else if blocks, you'll get this extra conditions. So this is compulsory. If condition should be there. After that, else if condition can be there. Then immediately you can get the else block also, or you can add as many number of else if blocks before this else block comes up at the end. So here in this current syntax, as you can see, there are two else if blocks having the two extra conditions apart from the if condition. But if you want to have some five to ten also, you can get it. Okay you can actually get as many number of else if blocks as you want and uh, the number of else if blocks that will be there that many number of conditions will get okay so if else if else statements contain more than one conditions that's the first thing that you understood and uh, how this particular uh, scenario works okay how this particular scenario works or the selection statement works that is first this particular condition will be verified guys in this if else if else selection statements, in the if condition will be verified first. If it returns true, that means this if block will be executed and all the other remaining else if and else blocks will be ignored. Okay. If this particular condition becomes true, only this if block will be executed and all the remaining else if conditions will be ignored. Else if conditions and else blocks will be ignored. They will be skipped. They will be skipped from execution, guys. Okay. And what if? this condition is false if this condition is true only this if block will be executed and remaining things will not be executed they will be skipped okay 
either it be else blocks or else blocks they will be skipped if this condition is true but if this condition is false then this will be skipped the ship block will be skipped and the control will go to the next else if block if this condition becomes true if this condition becomes true only this first else if block will be executed and uh, remaining things like this if block and uh, remaining else if and else blocks will be skipped okay and in third case let's say this condition is false so this got skipped and even else if condition is also first else if condition is also got false so this also will be skipped now if this uh, uh, this uh, second else if condition is kind of became true that means only this else if uh, block will be executed remaining all these things it may be if else if or else blocks will be skipped guys only this block will be wherever the condition becomes true that will be executed guys that block only will be executed and remaining sections will be skipped okay and what if all these conditions no matter how many conditions are there either if conditions or else, else if conditions if all these conditions became false or false let's say in that case finally only this else block will be executed all the remaining things will be skipped because they are in false state so this is how guys if else if else selection statement works okay if one of the condition becomes true only that particular block will be executed if none of the conditions are true then else finally else block will be executed okay this is how the if else if else selection statement works in java so let me also take up a hope you understood so far guys but uh, let me also take a flow diagram so that you can understand in more detail let's open this flow diagram so as you can so it's getting loaded let's wait so this is the flow diagram for this uh, if else if else selection statements guys so during the execution first let's say the control will go to this in this if else if else selection statement the control will first go to this if condition if this particular condition becomes true okay if this condition is true then the if block the initial if block will be executed and the complete statement will be ended right but what if this condition is not true it is false in that case the control will go to the next else if condition okay if this first if condition is false then the control will go to the else if condition if this else if condition is true okay if this else if condition is true in that case the code inside the else if block will be executed okay if this first else if condition is true the code inside the else if block will be executed and all the remaining things will be skipped guys okay so it will end and even if similar to the if condition if the else if condition also become false then the control will go to the next else if condition guys okay the next else if condition and if this else if second else if condition becomes true the code inside the second else if block will be executed and the statement will be ended otherwise if the condition is false the control will go to the next else if condition Okay. no matter how many else if conditions are there it will keep on going if the condition is false now if this condition last else if condition in this particular flow diagram is becomes true then the code inside this uh, last else if condition will be else if condition block will be executed and the statement will end okay otherwise if this condition is also false if all this condition starting from the if condition else if else if else if everything each and every condition is returning in false in that case finally the code inside the else block will be executed the code inside the else block will be executed and the statement will end here so this is how this is how the if else if else selection statements will work in java guys hope you understood the purpose of if else if else selection statements in java guys its syntax and its uh, the flow of execution and all okay how it works and all and how it has multiple conditions and what will happen if all the conditions fails okay so now guys the time has come for the practical demonstrations so based on your understanding okay to increase your understanding level of uh, using this uh, if else if else selection statements in java let me take up some examples and uh, let me practically demonstrate them so that you can understand this if else if else selection statements in more clarity and more detail okay so let's start with a program guys let me write down a program here so if you understand this program you will be able to understand this if else if else selection statements in java so int let me create some variables guys int a, a is equal to 6 b is equal to 5 
c is equal to 4 d is equal to 3 e is equal to 2 okay here in this statement i declared five variables as in data type and each and every variable i assign some value also initialization is also done for each and every variable that is declared here as in data type okay now what i will do is i will say if a is less than b okay the first example what i am going to uh, demonstrate here is i will demonstrate that all the if and all the if and else if conditions in the next, uh, in this particular if, if else if statements okay have written false okay i will demonstrate that all the conditions you see this is a if condition and these are the else if conditions all these if and else if conditions if they written false okay that thing i am going to demonstrate i am going to demonstrate the program where all the if if conditions and else if conditions are written in the false and uh, finally if all these conditions are written in false then finally what will happen guys the code inside the else block will only be executed if all these statements all these uh, if uh, blocks and else if blocks having the conditions are written in false then this blocks will not be executed guys finally the last block which doesn't have any condition will be executed to demonstrate that i am going to take up this example guys okay to demonstrate that i am going to take up this example let me show you so i will say system.out.println inside if block okay inside if block i will say so if this condition is true this statement will be executed otherwise the control will go to the next else if condition okay so here i will say b less than c here i will say system dot out dot print ln inside first else if block okay this is first else if block is having the condi second condition now the third condition will come with the again another uh, else if block that is c less than d i will say here and uh, here i will say system dot out dot print ln inside second else if block now again another else if block i will say here i will say d less than e the condition is d less than e and uh, here i will print if this condition becomes true it will print inside third else if block like this you can create as many number of else if blocks as you want guys up to you okay if you want more conditions you can keep on adding this that's fine and finally once all the conditions are done we'll have we are going to have an else block here okay normal else block and uh, here i will print system dot out dot print ln inside else block okay so guys in this example in this example all these conditions i am intentionally making them false guys okay uh, all these boolean expressions i am intentionally making them to return false you see a less than b 6 less than 5 is false b less than c 5 less than 4 is false not correct c less than d 4 is less than 3 is not correct so it will return false d less than e 3 is less than 2 is also false it will return false okay not correct so finally all the conditions that i am having in this uh, boolean expressions or conditions i am having in this uh, if else if else selection statement example okay they are going to return false so that means if all these conditions are going to return false all these blocks will be skipped from execution guys okay they will not be executed because their conditions are returning false now finally if all these uh, blocks are returning false they will not be executed and they will be skipped and finally this else block will be executed okay to show that let's run this program so now when i run this program only this statement inside this else block it should be printed guys inside else block should be printed here in the output console so let's run this and see that happening you see inside else block only the last block got executed since all the conditions of this uh, if and uh, else if uh, conditions are failing or returning false finally the last block that is else block will get executed now what if the second example guys what if uh, i intentionally make the first condition that is of the if statement okay if block condition of the condition of the if block if i make it return true then what will happen will these things will be executed or only this block will be executed only this block should be executed guys okay the condition of this if block is uh, is returning true 
then only the code inside this if block should be executed and remaining will be skipped guys okay so that means when i run this program here a is greater than b that is true 6 greater than 5 is true so that means it will return true the condition is true and only the if block will be executed all the remaining things will be skipped from execution guys as you can see right click run as job application inside if block will be printed you see inside if block got printed remaining things didn't get executed now what i will do is again i will intentionally make it false to return false so somewhere here i will uh, make this uh, this one c greater than d i will make it so this is only true condition and remaining are false let's say okay what will happen here let's find it out one of the else if condition is true and remaining are false so here a less than b 6 less than 5 is not correct 6 is not less than 5 so this condition has written false and this if block will be skipped now the control will go to the next condition that is b less than c so 5 less than 4 5 is not less than 4 that's not correct so this also written false and this first lc block will also be skipped now the control will go to the third condition c greater than d c is greater than d that is 4 greater than 3 that's correct right 4 is really greater than 3 so since it is returning true this this uh, second lc block will be executed guys so in the output inside second lc block will be printed and all the remaining things will be skipped okay only this block will be executed and all the remaining things will be skipped guys let's run this and see that right click run as job application inside second lc block all the remaining things got skipped okay this is how guys if else if else selection statements work in java okay they have more than one conditions if one of the condition passes that block will be executed if the conditions are failing finally the else block will be executed so this is how it works okay all the conditions are failing then else block will be executed if one of the conditions of are passing then that particular block will be executed it may be if, if condition block or else else if condition block okay based on the result they will be executed and remaining blocks will be skipped so guys that's it about this if else if uh, else selection statements in java and in the next uh, video i am going to explain in the next video session i am going to explain switch selection statements okay switch selection statements so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye